Hi everyone. So, hang on, screen's a little off. I'm kind of going off. I don't have anything to center my screen, so I'm hoping what the heck is SpongeBob doing this time? This time I thought I would play one of my favorite levels on one of my favorite games. I love how um the guy. This was made by Heavy Iron Studios. What they do for still animations, every five seconds they'll do something different. And SpongeBob and Patrick and Sandy are what you can play as. There's actually a whole lot I could describe about this game. It's one of the reasons I love this game. So much you can do here for a PlayStation 2 game. So, gonna, this is, I'm kind of in the home world. I, kind of, I just started the game and I'm recording this literally right after I finished recording um, Crash Tag Team Racing. So, I spent that. So let's hurry over to it before I run out of time. I have nine minutes exactly to record. Beside, um, this is my, f the soundtrack in this boss is amazing. It sort of sounds like Mecha Bandicoot, but sort of different. It's not made with acapella in the slightest bit. It's entirely techno. But if you were to mix the two tracks, they would sound similar and they would both sound awesome together. I'm gonna skip the cutscene, because I have no idea how long this boss is gonna take for me. So, listen to the soundtrack for a bit while I just silently beat this giant robotic squirrel. Looks like the robot left itself on Robo. Great barrier ring. Hang on. Beep. I'm like 23 instead of 21. I really wanna Oh, even better. Um just settings. There we go. There we go. Music is as loud as it can be. Now the robot's taking a beating out there. There's another soundtrack in this game I love even more than You hit me! I'm telling! There's another boss soundtrack in this game I love even more than this soundtrack. But the level would take too long for me to put a video of. I know, I'll just put a link of the soundtrack um, in the description of the video. Patrick doesn't care whether he'll get hurt or not. He just wants to have fun. This part I had to practice. No, well, not this part, the next part. Do you own if you jump if you double jump you'll end up getting yourself hurt. If you don't jump you'll end up getting yourself hurt. I almost missed that spot. Yeah, right next to it. Come here. Look at the robot spazzing out. You know what I wonder? Why was that robot built with a detachable head in the first place? And why does that head have a destructo button on the bottom of it? Oh, I missed. Don't worry, I have underwear. Lots and lots of clean underwear. I wish you could do the cartwheel move in this game like you can in the movie game. Because it makes you run around as Patrick much faster. I, there are very few things about this game that I don't like. That's why it's one of my favorite games. It's not my most favorite PS2 game, but it's pretty high on the list. Disco Patrick. Oh yeah, that's another thing I lo um, like. SpongeBob the movie The Game isn't exactly on my I like this game list. But there are a few things in it I wish this game had. Such as being able to um, disguise the characters you play as as something else. Such as Disco Patrick. He dress up Patrick as Elvis. 
It's hilarious and amazing. Well, not everything is hilarious, but it is awesome. You're playing as Patrick dressed up in a disco costume. What else could you wish for? Oh, yeah. And also, the detail they put into the... Oops. The double jump. That's why you can't double jump. It'll do that. I love all the pictures they have in the backgrounds of all these levels. I love all the background designs of these levels. If only they knew it wasn't a guy. Look at Spongebob in his little shorts. That's probably one of Spongebob's derpiest looks, honestly. Yeah, I made it that time. Come here, squirrel. Come on! If I don't hit it in time, it'll end up putting its head back on. Come on! There we go, jeez! That took too long. Maybe I should have actually timed it. Look at Spongebob all happy over there. With his boxing gloves. You know what, why didn't they have that as a costume for the Spongebob movie game? That would have been awesome! Hi, squirrel. Come on! There we go. I guess we'll watch the ending cutscene. If you could hear that, that was my neck popping. A lot. I love how if you do something, the fish announcer comes into the screen and says something. If you play this game and you see that for this first time, what is your reaction? Is it, bad joke? What is wrong with you? Is it, mm, I guess it was sort of funny? Or is it, wow, that was right? What is your reaction to these kind of things? Blowy uppy. So yeah, um, if I upload this to YouTube, I'm gonna put a description, I'm gonna put a link to all the boss battle soundtracks in the description. You know what, maybe I'll even do a playlist of this game because I like it so much. It's my fa it's one of my favorite games. My most favorite game for the PlayStation 2 is Spyro Hero's Tale. My favorite game for the PlayStation 1 is Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. I do not have a favorite for PlayStation 3, but I'm kind of leading towards it being Little Big Planet 2 because of how much you're able to do on it. Oh, I almost... 8 minutes and 15 seconds. That's not too close to 9 minutes exactly. Oh well. Bye everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching.